Hi everyone, Ivan Desjardins with Remax. I'm here to give you the uh, update for the month of January that we just uh, gone through for the sales of real estate compared to uh, January of last year. Uh, well, first of all, let me give you the amount of listings, which is extremely low. Again, the inventory is unbelievable. Usually we could carry, uh, you know, uh, at least 100 listings or 150 listings in Halton Hills. Uh, as of this morning, we only have 51 listings. But interestingly, the average price of the homes that are for sale right now is $2 million. The reason it's $2 million is because everything in the lower price range have sold. And uh, we're left with the uh, higher price homes available right now. And uh, if we go with the sales, the sales of last year in January, we had uh, pretty much the same as this year. Last year we had uh, 50 sales and this year we had 52 sales. So it's very, very comparable. One thing that's very different is that last year the average price of a home in, uh, in Halton Hills for the month of January, it was 865,000 versus this year, it's a million and 56. So just, you can say now, uh, yeah, it is over a million dollars to get a house in Halton Hills as average. And interestingly, uh, the uh, last year it was 99% of the uh, asking price. So everything pretty much selling this year, it's 103%. So as you can see, there's still lots of uh, price war or uh, I can say um, bidding wars, I should say, sorry and uh, which creates the price to, to go higher. When there's less homes available and there's like five buyers or 10 buyers or 20 buyers, I've heard sometimes, uh, prices goes up. So what's in store for this year? Uh, the fact that we've had the, uh, the lockdown, the economy is, you know, it is what it is. A lot of business are uh, shut down. There's a lot of people that are saying it's going to slow down. I know a lot of people are saying it's going up. I've got some articles here which are quite interesting. Uh, Remax now, that comes from head office, are predicting a 4 to 6% increase. I've got an article here with me. And um, there's other ones here that I just published this morning. It's, it says, no Canada's housing market won't crash. So again, uh, there, there's contradiction on every uh, page that you uh, click on the internet right now. One that's... Uh, Interesting, it comes from CMHC, and even CMHC, as though, uh, them, they were predicting the other way, saying, oh yeah, it's going to crash. There are even this one here saying they, they, it's a possibility of a crash of 50%. Uh, that, I know that's a pretty extreme, but, uh, you know, we've seen before a 15-20% uh, downturn easily that has happened many times especially the fact that we've had a this run up 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 and it's it keeps on going up uh again the factor like i've mentioned many many times the main factor while the why the housing is such high price it's because of low interest rate right now you can get a 1.5 mortgage for five years yeah 1.5 there's even lower i've seen 1.39 uh, but always check the fine print of these mortgages. They might not be the best mortgages a uh, company to, to deal with. So anyway, make it what you want, that it's going to go up, it's going to go down, it's going to go sideways. I don't know. Nobody knows. But uh, stay warm, uh, stay safe. What can I say? And if you have any question whatsoever about the real estate market, you would like to know what your house is worth in today's market, give me a call. We can do it over the phone and uh, I can uh, tell you my opinion on what I think your house could be worth on today's market. Thank you very much and have a great day.